Sorcerer in general and mostly focused on the Lightning build and early game since I made this during the final beta and the max level is just 20 here. The Lightning Sorceress build has very good AoE, it's one of the fastest clearing specs especially now with the nerf necromancer, it one-shots most groups of enemies, but it can be mana hungry early on and it's a bit harder to solo bosses and elites, but lightning bounces from you too so it's fine. Sorcerers can go fire, frost, lightning or a combination of the three. You can experiment early on and try every build since respects are free until level 8 and even afterwards they are quite cheap. But I think that lightning build is the strongest it was the best build in the first beta and even if nerfed a bit it's still very strong and good overall and easy to play. So start with sparks, throwing a bolt of lightning that shocks an enemy 4 times and as you level up don't level up your skills first, instead upgrade them since they will increase their power a lot more than just going plus 1 on their level. So get your spark the enchant and spark passive that makes it also have a chance to hit multiple additional targets instead of just one or if there are no extra targets it deals bonus damage to the main target. This ability doesn't cost mana so you can spam it all day, then get your chain lightning, this one does cost mana but it deals a lot of damage and pretty much one shots most groups of enemies at least early on, bouncing between 5 enemies and if there are no other enemies it bounces off of you as well and back to the enemy so you can fight a boss with it too. Upgrade this one too, increasing the crit chance per bounce and giving it a chance to spawn a crackling energy orb if it crits. Those orbs work as a passive ability for lightning sorcerers, they form on the ground and if you walk over them you pick them up giving you orbs above your XP bar to see how many you have and they automatically damage enemies around you for extra lightning damage. Then go ahead and finish upgrading your spark too with the second upgrade, giving it a chance to spawn crackling orbs as well. At level 8 you'll unlock your first utility spell and I recommend going with teleport. This is super fun and useful giving you another dash apart from the space evade with a lot of a higher range and it can also work over woes and terrain so it's pretty useful. Then you can also upgrade it too if you want, but it's not as important as your first two abilities, making it get reduced cooldown whenever you hit enemies for up to 3 seconds reduction and upgrading your crackling energy to hit more targets after using it. Now you can start upgrading abilities or picking up more skills. You can take Ice Armor for more survivability or Frost Nova 2 for more AoE freezing or even take the Glass Cannon passive to increase your damage or you can just upgrade your chain lining first since that is your core damage ability so far and put a few points in it too. Don't forget to also upgrade your health potions when you get to level 10 and then to level 20. You can also upgrade your gear a bit or enchant it to change the stats. Apply a transmog set and colors you look cool and you will also probably want to start working on obtaining your codexes of power legendary effects even if you can't craft them yet. For the lightning build there are a few good options, recharging gives you mana when chain lightning bounces off of you, splittering energy makes your lightning spear have a chance to spawn an additional one on cast, unbroken tether doesn't seem to be in this beta but it should give your chain lightning a chance to bounce to two more targets, and charge aspects could be useful too giving you movement speed when picking up orbs. You can mark one of them to see the dungeon from where it drops since those drop from a dungeon each and it's a guaranteed drop so just pick the one you want, go and clear the dungeon and you will get it. Also take a drink every time I say lightning. And as you complete regions you will unlock more skill points from here from Renown so be sure to check your progress on the map too. After you unlock your conjuration skills there are two really fun abilities to pick from here. First pick lightning spear that creates a spear of lightning that seeks out enemies around you for 6 seconds and then take the Hydra too for some fire damage as well. It creates a 3 headed Hydra at the targeted location that will shoot fire at enemies on its own. And then upgrade them both. Upgrading your Hydra is very useful since it gives your Hydra an additional head if casted at above 80% health and increasing their critical strike chance after you crit. And Lightning Spear also improves its crit chance and collecting orbs will increase the damage of the next one up to 100%. Also at level 15 you can start doing your class quest, the legacy of the Magi, sending you into a dungeon to find a codex, then perform a ritual that can unlock an enchantment slot where you can add an ability for bonus passive effects, like chain lightning forming automatically after spending 100 mana. There are also items that can further upgrade your abilities, like those gloves giving a plus 1 to chain lightning, and this works even if they are maxed, so if they are at plus 5, they will go to plus 6. After unlocking your mastery skill, you have some nice choices here too, like meteor, or Firewall for some nice burn AoE damage or going with Bold Lightning for even more lightning that throws a lightning orb that damages enemies in its path. Or you can become a full stack elementalist by going with Blizzard and having an Ice spell too. 
This is useful since it will slow down enemies as well as damage them in the selected area for 8 seconds, so it's useful just for the crowd control alone. And upgraded, it reduces the mana cost of your chain lining too when active. And that's about all I can show you in this beta since the max level is 20, but after unlocking the ultimate ability, if you want to take it of course, you should go with the lightning one, unstable currents, and replace one of your previous skills with it, giving you a big buff for 10 seconds, causing every shock ability to cast another random ability as well, this is great for boss fights or clearing large areas of enemies, but it does have a pretty big cooldown. And for the final key passive, go with either overflowing energy to upgrade your crackling energy, or with Veer's mastery to increase the damage taken of close enemies and reduce the damage taken from them, that also increases when you crit. And that's about it for a starter build, of course there will be more in the full game including gems and enchants and unique items and legendaries, as well as the paragon board that unlocks at level 50, but this should help you understand the class a bit more and give you an overview of the lightning build at least early on. I hope this helped you and thanks for watching.